Michael wants to work in a really cool job, so he's off to spend some time with the guys at Arneg New Zealand to learn about refrigeration engineering. Hey Michael. Hi, thank you. Refrigeration engineers are responsible for the design, installation, servicing and maintenance of refrigeration and air conditioning systems. So James and Michael are off to do a routine check at Le Bon Cuisine. How cold is it in there? It's about two degrees. Two degrees. So not quite as cold as the freezer room at minus uh, 20. It's quite important to have a good uh, understanding of maths and, and, uh, and physics, gas laws and things like that. Um, refrigeration is very much about pressures and temperatures. Um, uh, nowadays there's a lot of e electronics involved, so uh, certainly having a, a good background, a good scholastic background, like I say, maths and physics and so forth. Hey Michael, this is an um, electronic leak detector. Um, yeah. One of the reasons we obviously we don't want a leak on the system is that the refrigerant gas is bad for the environment. Gaining access to some of the refrigeration machinery can require a reasonable amount of agility and a good head for heights. Needless to say, a safety conscious attitude is vital. Next stop, Pack and Save Henderson, the southern hemisphere's biggest supermarket. A large supermarket like this might have up to a million dollars worth of stock that must be kept at exactly the right temperature. The system here at Pack and Save is a New Zealand first. It uses a naturally occurring refrigerant, such as carbon dioxide, to reduce the temperature of the non-toxic coolant, which is then pumped around the system. To be a successful refrigeration engineer, you need to be uh, practical, um, you need to be hands-on, um, you need to be uh, a good communicator, um, and certainly not, um, not afraid of working on your own, but also good at being in a team environment. Right now, there's a high demand for more refrigeration engineering apprentices. You can enter the job as an apprentice and complete a national certificate in refrigeration and air conditioning level 4. This normally takes four years and you can work and earn while you're doing it. Three years secondary education is desirable and preferred subjects are English, Maths, the Sciences, Technology and Computer Studies. And there are ongoing industry seminars to help you upskill and go even further. To find out more, contact Competence, the industry training organisation for the refrigeration and air conditioning industry.